as they say, the acclaimed have arrived. Scissor me, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? The acclaimed have arrived. They absolutely have arrived. And AEW and their wrestlers should look to the acclaimed as an example of how to do things. Like I'm tickled to death that the acclaimed have gotten to this point where they are really, really massively over in a meaningful way with that audience. Because just as a group, as a tag team, like they represent a lot of good things. For a company that I sometimes joke about being hashtag all egg white wrestling, Obviously, you want some diversity and you want some featured acts that don't look like me. Here's the acclaim for you. Got a couple of young black men that are being featured prominently and in a somewhat serious way, being presented well. Like, absolutely. You know I'm on board with that. Then you talk about, hey, if you're a young fan or just any type of fan and you want some positive representation of LGBTQ plus community, that isn't kind of like a joke or parody or satire or like a, a rib. You've got Anthony Bowens. Like, you've got good things with this group. And then if you want to talk about letting the young lions of AEW roar. I mean, you've got Billy Gunn. He's only 58. He's in peak condition, man. He's in the prime of his damn life. But it's, it's crazy how this whole thing has come together. Because... Early on with the acclaim, when Max Caster would take the mic and he would start spitting his hot fire, his bars, if you will, like you could see a lot of fans online cringing about it. They didn't like it. They weren't down with it. And even at one point, you remember, what was it back, was it maybe a year ago? I can't really remember. What did he make the Duke lacrosse rape joke? And people were up in arms and he got suspended for a period of time. So to go from all of that to this point, where they are massively, massively over to the point where at the last pay-per-view all out, you had a lot of fans, certainly myself included, that no disrespect to Swerve and Keith Lee, but they made a mistake AEW did. That should have been the acclaims moment. And it wasn't. And hopefully it will be at Grand Slam or whatever. And it needs to be. I want to be very clear here. It absolutely needs to be. If you say, well, you want to give Swerve and Keith Lee a run, fine. You can do that later. You can always come back to them. But what you're looking at right here, right now, you have to validate the acclaim. You have to validate the fans getting behind them. You have to validate the fans and their support. And you don't do that by having them lose. You do that by having them win. And if you want to be a company that primarily has heel world champions, so be it. That can work. But when that baby face or that baby face group gets hot enough, you have to validate that by putting a strap on it. You absolutely do. You absolutely do. But to the bigger thing about the acclaimed, I realize that AEW is definitely geared towards a more Hardcore fan base, meaning that's a fan base that gives a shit about Meltzer star ratings for whatever the F reason. That cares about the number of moves and the matches and the offensive combos and the chain wrestling and the false finishes and all of that. Like, hey, wrestling should provide a variety and it should provide a spice of flavor for everyone. I get that. And not everything needs to be for me. And I get that too. But there are so many wrestlers in AEW that just are not characters, just are not personalities, that so many fans try to make out to be really, really great, like the Daniel Garcias and the Yuta Wheelers of the world. And I'm not just trying to pick on them because they're certainly not alone in this. Is, okay, they can do moves in the ring and the fans pop to it. But that's the only thing they have to go to. And at some point in time, the emotional investment just isn't the same from the fans if that's the only way you have to get to the people. If you could provide personalities and characters and present them in a way 
that the fans can care, can emotionally invest in them, and have a reason to care about them, that makes any of the in-ring action infinitely more valuable, infinitely more important, infinitely more meaningful. I'll use a good example of that recently, Wardlow. Like Wardlow is exactly the type of guy that you would think in an AEW construct in terms of wrestling organization, the fans would not like. They look at him and say, why is he not in Vince's, or excuse me, Stephen Hunter's company now? Like he's a freaking Reuter. Like these are the types of things you would expect an AEW type fan base to say about a guy like Wardlow. However, a Wardlow could have gone out there and had five star matches. And that's cool. But what happens instead is you make him a character, you give him a personality of his own type, and you put him in a story with MJF where people can get emotionally invested in that, and you can make a star. Now, what you do with that after that is very important, and it's been disappointing to see what they've done with Wardlow since. But the point I'm getting at here is wrestling is about more than the moves and the matches. In fact, the moves and the matches are the least important thing unless you've got the people that the characters and the personalities that the fans get invested in, then all of that comes together to give you that crescendo of the payoff of the match that can be the most important thing. And when you look at the acclaim, you've got all these other tag teams and all these other wrestlers are doing all this high risk crap, sometimes in an unsafe fashion. And they got all this talent getting injured and this and that. Meanwhile, these guys can sit there and go out and be characters and personalities and blow the roof off the damn joint. Like you could sit there and have a great AEW match and it gets a reaction of the fans are excited and everything like that. The acclaim can come out with Billy Gunn and the crowd erupts. They get into something and they erupt again. I'm sorry, but as a wrestler, in my opinion, that's what I want to be like. Yeah, the doing the moves and the matches and getting your star ratings might give it matter if you're a frickin' mark, but at the end of the day, it's about star power, it's about charisma, it's about personality, it's about stories. It's about giving the fans a reason to connect, to care, to emotionally invest in what's going on. And the acclaimed in their own kind of crazy, bizarre way, like how you get to the point where Billy Gunn's involved and they're doing the scissor me daddy. Like that shit is over massively. And even on the surface I look at it and I say, how the hell did that happen? But it doesn't matter how it happened. The fact is it did happen because these guys were focused on being characters, focused on being personalities, given the platform to be able to get over as characters and personalities, putting them in stories where you could care about them. And we see the result now, and it needs to be validated at Grand Slam. They need to get the tag team titles, period. Period. You want to give Swerve and, Swerve and Keith Lee a run? Fine, do it later. You must validate these guys, the acclaimed, as a top act. And right now, the way you validate them as a top act is put the damn straps on them. Because that's what the fans want. How could you listen to the crowd reaction and think that they don't want to see the acclaim get that moment? It represents so much good on a variety of different levels here. But I hope the biggest thing that the talent within AEW can take away from this is that that crap you did on the indies only gets you but so far, even if you're finding yourself on national TV and in a featured spot. If you're only a one-dimensional performer, at some point in time, that one dimension isn't enough for you and it's going to cap your ceiling. It absolutely is. To get to that level, you must have more than one dimension to you. And you'll have a number of people that try to say, well, this guy has more than one dimension. This guy, no, they don't. And you know they don't. Let's stop being disingenuous about it. The acclaim could go out there and have a great match. They just had a freaking phenomenal match at All Out with Swerve and Keith Lee. So they got that going for them too. So now you've got these guys that are characters and personalities that are you're invested in what they are, who they are, what they're about. They went out there and tore the roof off the place in the damn match so they can go in the ring too. Like, focusing here, then throwing this in. They've got the package. They've got everything you want at this point. 
Imagine how much better AEW could be. Frankly, imagine how much better WWE could be. Imagine how much better professional wrestling could be if they learned lessons from the acclaimed in that there's more than one way to get over and the best and most meaningful way to get over doesn't involve the stuff in terms of actually performing in the ring. That's the icing on the cake. The cake is the characters, the personalities, and the stories. And that's what matters most. And I hope that AEW in the months to come will make a slight pivot and shift to focus on that a little bit more. No ding-dongs. That doesn't mean go all cartoony and Mickey Mouse crap. It does not. Back in the day, the Crockett territory had fantastic personalities and characters. These guys oozed with charisma, and they could talk on the mic. They could talk people into the buildings. They could incite damn near riots when a baby face would get attacked by a heel. I wasn't being cartoony or childish or anything like that. And there's different ways to do it again. But be a personality. Be somebody that the fans want to give a fuck about. And you can't do that as well as you think you can by just bumping around in the damn ring. Because at some point in time, that shit doesn't work anymore. And at some point in time, you're putting yourself at unnecessary risk. Wrestling at the end of the day is supposed to be a work. The best way to work the fans is not to do a bunch of real moves that people think are fake and hurt yourself for real. The way for people to buy into the work is to work them by giving them reasons to care. And you do that like being like the acclaim.